Hello everyone, uh, this is Nazanin. I'm a childhood activist and founder of Atman Social Work Clinic. It's my honor uh, to be here and present our work in Iran. As, uh, as you know, child sexual abuse is not usually reported by children and their families, not only in Iran, but also in other countries. Therefore, in many cases, victims wouldn't receive proper support and treatment. Sexual abuse is a very sensitive issue and it's taboo in Iran. So it's really hard uh, for us to talk about it in public. Ottoman's uh, social work clinic have several projects on prevention of sexual abuse with different target groups, including children, parents, child rights activists. And now I'm going to elaborate more uh, our project. Our team has designed a training package for uh, seven to nine year old children. Uh, the package has five training sessions and each session is 45 minutes. We piloted the, pre, uh, the training package as we wanted to make sure that all children understand what is the sexual abuse and how they react if, uh, if someone wants to sexually abuse them. We mainly concentrated on the children's own understanding of sexual abuse and how to report it and to whom. Uh, also, we uh, also they would uh, define uh, define and grasp appropriate closeness uh, closeness with adults and their knowledge uh, about their anatomy, especially uh, their private parts. Uh, they learn the differences between good touch, bad touch, and unsafe touch. We teach all these subjects by drawing, playing games, and role playing. Actually. Um, our goal was uh, to design a fun session for children, otherwise we couldn't achieve our goal. After piloting the package, our team trained more than 3,000 vulnerable children in NGOs. Uh, moreover, we cover, uh, covered 12 boys' state schools and 13 girls' state schools. In total, 5,000 mm, um, student train, uh, trained on prevention of sexual abuse in Tehran, uh, which was really, really big achievement for us. Uh, and also we have um, lots of training for the private schools and kindergartens as well. Um, now, uh, the parent project. We have lots of workshops for parents, as we believe that parents um, have, have a really key role on prevention of sexual abuse. In our workshop, we usually train parents on what is violence against children, and discuss each violence in detail with examples. Then uh, we go to uh, 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 through, uh, the prevention of sexual abuse and how parents can teach this subject to, to their, their children. And uh, we teach them how they can teach these uh, subjects step by step. To be honest with, uh, with you, we have problems with parents because uh, if something happened, uh, happens to their children, they, they don't know how to react and protect their children. They're shocked and they usually start to accuse their children uh, or ask their, their children to be silent and not talk about this issue with anyone. And, ch and uh, children usually scared uh, and they, they, they stop to talking about uh, these kind of uh, things to their parents and we want to change these things and we want we want to, uh, to to teach the parents that they have a really key role and they can protect protect their children the other project uh, that we have is conducting TOT workshop uh, the best way we uh, the best way to cover more parents and children on prevention of sexual abuse is to have more trainers so we conduct TOT workshop for child rights activists and social workers in Tehran and other cities. Usually NGOs and state welfare organizations um, of other provinces invite us to uh, conduct a training session for their staff. After each training session, uh, we have a couple of children or parents who reported uh, sexual abuse. Uh, which is really sad and we have a referral system. Uh, we usually refer them to uh, the psychologists who are experts in this issue. Uh, and uh, now we are thinking to create sub uh, to create supporting group uh, for parents who sexually abused during their childhood and for parents who their children sexually abused. 
the good things that are happening in Iran is that uh, lots of groups and child, uh, child rights activists are working on this issue. And uh, you can find many websites and mobile applications on prevention of sexual abuse. Also in social me media, uh, you can find many information on this uh, subject. Although sexual abuse is still taboo in Iran, but I think we found our way uh, and we are, uh, we are trying to uh, raise awareness uh, and uh, to train children and parents. Thank you very much.